everyone. I'm here to make an assessment on the land uh, because Team Concept will do assessment on land, on a building, on properties. So right here I'm making an assessment today, this location where I'm in Gambia. So the assessment I'm making is on a 20 by 40 land, 20 by 40 land. The land, the beacon of the land starts here. This is the beacon. You can see this is the beacon for the land. Uh, they have to move it from this place because these people are sharing the same wall with the owner, with the client, my clients that I'm making an assessment for. So they share this same wall. So on this side, it's going to be 40, while on this side, it's going to be 20. So let's go this way so I can see. And you can see, let's just come, let's come, let's, let me, let me show you something uh, that I've discovered on this, on this. Uh, so from that part that I show you guys, it goes all the way to this place where it's going to be 20 meters. From that place to this place is 20 meters. So this is the second beacon. That was the first beacon and this is the second beacon. This is the second beacon for the land. From that place to this place is 20 meters. So let's go this way. This way is supposed to be 40 meters. But before we go, I want to show you something. Let me stay on top of this place. Right here, this is the road, the common road that this site and this site, they share. This land and this land, they share this common road. So you can see this is the entrance to their own uh, space. But the thing is, where I'm standing, I'm standing at a higher point. That is something that needs to be factored in when we are doing the design. Uh, because in our uh, assessment, we look at the how flat the land is, which is the topography of the land, how high the land is, is there anything of a concern? These are the things that we look at when it comes to the access, when it comes to the topography of the land. And this is a high point, so that means a lot when you are building, when you are making your fence, or when you are building your house, that is a lot. Compared to that area, if you see that area, that area, when we show that area, you see that this area is, is low, is lower than this spot that I have. I am at a high point compared to that place. That means when it's rainy season, when water is coming this way, it will usually go this direction. It's coming this direction. And you can see the part that is the part of water that is going towards a slopey area. And that shows me, you can see that this vegetation in this area, see the palm trees, see how green they are. In this weather, in this weather, I don't expect this palm trees to be this green at this point in time of the year. That means they are having water, and they're having water, they're having good sunshine. That means that place is watery, it's a water area. So that means we have to be uh, very, very uh, mindful of this terrain. But the thing is, uh, the good thing is it doesn't go too far, but from this point, where I have this 20 meter, this 20 meter at this end of this beacon, so that place is just about 15 meter. So it's something that needs to be uh, thought of when we are doing the design. So in this one, I uh, will recommend uh, in some areas to include a raft foundation. A raft foundation is a foundation that is built with reinforced concrete. Reinforced concrete is the rat foundation use that will be used in this area or in this wall or when you are building your house and at the same time mindful to make sure it is a raised foundation because of the terrain because you can see the part that all the water goes this way it flows down this way so that is one thing you need to think about when you are considering this area another thing is when you from this place it goes all the way down so let's try to trace the 40 meter. Let's go this way. So just, just follow me. We will show the, the 40 meter uh, that is included. At the middle of it, you can see uh, I come across one beacon. And this is one beacon uh, on the line. So this is the beacon from that point to this point is 20 meter as you can see. Uh, from that place, going that place is another 20 meter. So this is one 20 meter from that point going this place and now we're still going forward. 
So going forward, let's go this way so I can show you guys what is really happening on this side. So coming this way, you can see. Uh, let's try to trace this uh, treading meter together. Let's try to trace another treading meter. So that was 120 meter. This another 20 meter is right here. This is the next beacon. This is the next beacon that shows from that place 20 meter, from that place 20 meter, making 40 meter this way. So we have 20 meters, 40 meter. So we need to trace back an, another 40, another 20 meter. But before we do that, see what we have. We have these hilly areas. We have this area that has been burnt out. They are burnt out uh, to make sure they get rid of the ants. There are ants in this ant hill because we have a lot of ants in here. But you need to understand that these hands, they just go away for now. It's temporary. When you start the construction or when the weather changes, uh, when we have a rainy season, you're going to see that all these ants in this ant house, all of them, they're going to come out. So that is one of the things we consider, making sure that when the time comes, we make sure the team concept builders make sure we treat this area for hands. It's very important in construction. So these are the things need to be thought of. Not only that, that means this place has to be graded to make sure it's level out because man cannot easily move this. So if you put 40 men here, I don't think they can even really move it. So we need uh, to grade this area. Those are the things that need to be put in concentration when it's costing is involved in making sure this place is level out or pre they are ready for construction. So let's go. So from that spot, we need to trace another 20 meter. And then I have, I think I've known the other 20 meter hemp. Very important. You see that we have a lot of hilly area here. And this last 20 meter is actually here. I'm able to easily spot it. So you can see this is another, this is another beacon. So from this beacon to that beacon, this is another beacon. So from this beacon to that beacon is 20 meter. From this beacon to that beacon is 40 meter. That is what we are talking about. That is how we are doing what we are doing. And looking at everything, apart from the top topography, accessibility is very important. This place is really accessible uh, wherever you are coming to this site. Because if you don't have accessibility to the site, it's not good. It's not good for the supply of your material. It's not good for you to be able to access your house in case of emergency. These are things that matters because somebody transporting cement or bringing stone to your place must be able to get to the place easily. These are the things that we think about. Not only that, you know there's a building around. When you have a building around in this place, Having a building around that means you can easily talk to your neighbor for supplies. You need any supply of water. You need any place to store your materials. Those are things that's happening. And you can see that some people are still constructing. So these are the area that you know that is growing and developing. So family, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to press that notification button. Don't just forget to share this video with your family members. Blessings and blessings. Thank you. Bye.